It's a big Thursday night here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Dan Marotti along with Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. Get ready, a brand new MWF Ultra is next. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorndor. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, welcome to another MWF Ultra. We're having a lot of fun on Thursday nights, Tony. Yes, it is. We have our talk show, Wrestling Insiders, on Tuesday. On Thursday nights, we bring you the news, the analysis, the action that is the Millennium Wrestling Federation as we head into a big spring. Again, it's been announcements galore, Mr. USA, uh, an event a lot of adults are looking forward to, uh, MWF Project X Loose Cannons, Saturday night, March the 28th. From once Somerville, Somerville, Massachusetts, brought to you by Brian Pillman Jr. and Club Cam Zagami's Uprising, Tony, uh, to show that the MWF has some heart, to show that the MWF likes to give back. The afternoon of the event, it's going to be open to some of the great kids nonprofit organizations we work with and those that have VIP tickets. You cannot buy an individual ticket to what we're going to do the afternoon of Loose Cannons, but we're going to bring to you a special event called MWF Full Throttle. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be some great action and excitement, and we're giving back to the community. We want these kids that might not be able to afford to come to a wrestling event otherwise, we're giving them a free afternoon of live action on March the 28th. Whether you love John Cena Sr., whether you hate John Cena Sr., or some of the other executives here in this company, what a great thing to give back to the community. It's always good to give back. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of kids, they watch professional wrestling on television, Raw, SmackDown. Maybe they've never been to a live event. Maybe they have, uh, to be politically correct, a special condition that would prevent them mm. from attending a live wrestling event. Well, that's what we're doing. We're giving back to the community. March the 28th in the afternoon, MWF full throttle. I can't wait. It's going to be, for us, a double dose of action and excitement. Oh, yeah. It's always good. Tickets are on sale now over at bostonwrestling.com. The weekend after everything we have going down in Somerville, again, we've talked about it uh, at length, Tony, WrestleCon 2020, the weekend of WrestleMania in Tampa, April 3rd, April 4th, myself, you, Dutch Mantel, Zeb Coulter, along with the WWE Hall of Famer, Jerry Briscoe, we're all going to be together in Tampa. We're going to have fun at the Boston Wrestling booth. And Tony, I tell you, there will probably be around 200 wrestlers or so that show up at WrestleCon to sign autographs. There's nothing like it. Yeah, they got a lot of people going to be there this year. I mean, just about every wrestler you could possibly name, when you go on the computer and look up the list, I, they probably have more wrestlers. They're going to have fans. I don't know about that, but there's I tell you, there's a lot. There's, there's a going lot. to be a couple hundred professional at least, wrestlers. Yeah, at least yeah, a lot of wrestlers are going to be. There. So many you can't name them all. No, definitely not. No. We, we'd have to have a, a special two-hour program for that in and of itself. And then Tony, after we get down in Tampa, we head north. It's back to the '80s WrestleFest. It's going to be a party like Boston hasn't seen in a long time. You remember the '80s music, the '80s TV shows, the '80s movies. And what about 80s professional wrestling? Eight WWF legends are coming to Memorial Hall in Melrose. My good friend, the Hall of Famer, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. WWE Hall of Famer, Jake the Snake Roberts. WWE Hall of Famer, Road Warrior Animal. WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorndor. Two gentlemen that should be in that Hall of Fame. Axe and Smash Demolition. WWE Hall of Famer, Brutus the Barber Beefcake along with the genius Lanny Poffo, and with Lanny comes the macho man Randy Savage's WWE Hall of Fame ring for you to take a picture with. How cool is that? VIP tickets, admission tickets are on sale now at bostonwrestling.com. We're going to have a special contest during the event where fans, whether they're dressed as macho man Randy Savage or can just do a good voice, the macho man Randy Savage imitation contest. Let's see you do it, brother. Yeah. Macho Man Randy Savage, whoever does the best Macho Man voice, according to Lanny Poffo, they're going to get a special prize. We're going to have fun with that, I think. Yes, we will. We love to have fun, Tony. Oh, with yeah. some crazy people. When you get eight 80s legends together in one place at one time, 
you know we're going to have some fun. You agree with that? Okay. Oh, I, I agree with you 100%. All right, Tony. I know you have a lot on your mind. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on. Right now, fans, we're going to go up to the ring. What a matchup we have. Slick Wagner Brown of Clubs Cam Zagami's Uprising takes on the debuting Wheeler Yuta. This is going to be an interesting one, Tony. Cam Zagami's Uprising, his athletes in 2020, they're 4-0. Are they going to go 5-0 and tonight with Slick? Who are you talking about? Slick Wagner Brown. Is he going to come away with a victory tonight for that faction sure to go 5-0? So. and I like Slick. He was one of my, like I said, one of my first students. I gave him his first match. So I like for Slick to not only just win this match, but win every match come up. And I like to see Flick, uh, Slick, Slick Wagner Brand in a position to be world champion one day. Well, he's a former two-time MWF heavyweight champion. He's the only athlete in the 18-year history of this company to hold that title twice. Fantastic. Well, he deserved it. He won a, a six... A heck of an athlete. Six-person challenge match the first time. The second time, he defeated Shelton Benjamin for that title in Bridgeport, wow. Connecticut. That's fantastic. Our wrestling fans are going to take a brief time out. They're going to go up to the ring. Wheeler Yuta makes his MWF debut against Slick Wagner Brown with Cam Zagami. Stand by. The hottest new sensation on Fox, Friday Night Smackdown, is coming to Buffalo. Feel the thrill with nonstop action. Big dog is coming to protect the team. Larger than life superstars. Come see the boss take care of business. And the unparalleled excitement of seeing it live. Be there live and get yourself a first-hand taste of the power of positivity. Don't miss Friday Night Smackdown in Buffalo on March 6th. Tickets and ringsider packages are available. Wrestling fans, I've been looking forward to this one. It is the debut of the newcomer, Wheeler Yuta, taking on former two-time Lenny Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion Slick Wagner Brown. Here as we kick off the month of March on MWF Ultra. What a month it's going to be, fans. Look at Cam Zagami roaming the ring on his phone. Uprising is 4-0 so far in 2020. Looks like Cam is uh, taking a walk. He's got to go send a text message. Probably on one of his apps. Tinder or uh, maybe Grinder. I don't know. You never know with Cam, I guess. But I don't think Slick Wagner Brown was expecting this. Referee for this matchup, Dan Tanaka, Wheeler Yuta, certainly comes highly regarded in the world of professional wrestling in 2020. An outstanding, hungry young athlete. Uh, what a test for him to take on Slick in his MWF debut. He's not uh, facing enhancement talent, so to speak. Someone to use as a stepping stone here in the MWF. He's facing the only two-time champion in company history. Won a six-pack challenge for that championship the first time. Also defeated Shelton Benjamin to win it for the second time in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah, the fans seem to be very familiar with Wheeler. I like this. Slick does not. Last time he saw Slick in action, it was in a losing effort to a morbidly slow Devon Dudley. What Slick has in the gas tank is 2020 starts. It's a new chapter of the Money Wrestling Federation, a new decade. Here we go, baby. Up and over he goes. Slick right to Brown off the ropes. Hit toss from Wheeler to Make it two. Early advantage for the newcomer. I like it. I like it. You know what they say about certain professional wrestlers once they have to go the way of a t-shirt? I don't know. Sets him up into the post. Wheeler certainly quicker at this point. Goes for the pin. No. Not enough to put away Slick. But certainly has him rocking and really early on. He has the speed advantage if he can take out one of Slick's limbs. Maybe even the power. Up and over goes Wheeler Yuta. Look at that face first into the canvas. Goes Slick Wagner Brown. Wheeler Yuta putting on a clinic early on here on MWF Ultra. Non-stop action, crossbody. Referee out of position on that one, just a one count. Slick Wagner Brown wisely retreats to the floor. Probably wondering where his, uh, his manager, Club Cam Zagami, may be. There goes, look at that kick to the face. That's the veteran in Slick Wagner Brown. Smart wrestling. He slowed the pace down, then took the advantage. Look at that. That's going to take away the speed. And 
Slick at this stage of the game, he needs to slow the process down. Eight of the midsection, trying to cut off that oxygen. Great. Trying to choke him out right there. The referee needs to get in there. At least Yuta does not have to worry about Cam Zagami trying to interfere. That's to his advantage as well. Love him or hate him, Slick Wagner Brown is the MWF original. He competed. Look at that shot. Slick competed in the very first match in MWF history back on September the 28th, 2001. And he's been with us ever since, for better or worse. I stress that, for better or worse. He's got Uter in the corner again, taking his time. Oh! Not gonna need a cup of coffee in the morning with that shot. Look at that, Wheeler fires back. Make it two. The way that Slick throws him out of the ring, like he's a piece of garbage. There goes the former two-time champion to the floor. Axe handle across the back. Slick has shown us before he'll do everything and anything to come away with the victory. Under the barricades. Under the timekeeper, as a matter of fact. Well, I hit him? Yeah. Colonel Sanders. As we like to call here in the MWF, the time for chicken may be out. Slick has wasted his time on the timekeeper. The referee's counting. Wheeler's getting up. Big mistake from Slick. And look at Wheeler fire back. He broke up the 10 count. They were coming close to this match ending. Slick with a boot. Now he's trying to cut off that oxygen supply once again. Wheeler's in a tough place in the middle of the ring. He's not close to any rope. Slick with the weight advantage, the size advantage. This could be the beginning and the end of Wheeler Yuta here on MWF Ultra. Both of these men slated for action in MWF Project X. Loose cannons, an 18 plus only event. Presented by Brian Pillman Jr. in the Uprising, Saturday night, March the 28th, from once Somerville in Somerville, Massachusetts. Tickets on sale now, bostonwrestling.com. Wheeler is crawling up. He wants to shoot out of Slick's arm like a cannon at this point. He wants to breathe. And Slick trying with all his might, but he reapplies it. He reapplies it. He's a veteran. Now he's practically smothering Wheeler Yuta. He's being smothered right now. Well, and all that weight comes crashing down on his neck. Slick talking a lot of trash, but these fans really like Wheeler. mentioned before, Wheeler was actually trained in the beginning of his career by another low-life scumbag, the stalker Dylan Cage. Different story for a different time. Not to take anything away from Dylan's wrestling ability, but Wheeler Yuta was a first-class individual, had a chance to talk with him before tonight's program. He's trying with everything he's got to try and get out of the clutches of Slick. <laughs> And he's, he's made it to one knee. Wait a minute here, and he's up, up on his feet. Fires away, I don't know if those rights are gonna be as effective as they would have been earlier in the matchup, but you know what, he's trying headbutt from Slick, but he's still firing away. Slick with a right, Wheeler with a right. Two from Slick, two from Wheeler. Here we go. Well, Slick has had enough. He doesn't want to go tit for tat. He wants to come away with the win. Look at that. Wheeler with the kick to the back of the head. The former champions rocking and reeling. Wheeler up, down goes Slick yet again. Wheeler to his feet, but he's injured. Look at him grasping that neck. Slick reverses him into the ropes. Down he goes. Right, what's Slick going for right here? 
Shades of old Hercules Hernandez right there. Down goes Wheelie Uta. That could be it. Two? No. Wheelie Uta kicks out at two plus. Slick not happy. Well, I don't think the crowd is going to side with him. He should be continuing to wear the man down as Wheeler tries to get back to his feet yet again. Don't forget, fans, we headed to the Sunshine State WrestleMania weekend for WrestleCon. Tony Atlas, myself, Gerald Briscoe, Dutch Mantel, who knows who else may join us. Maybe we'll see Wheeler Yuta. I have a feeling you could be seeing him on the showcase of the Immortals someday. He has got a great deal of potential, folks. Duck slick, up and over he goes. Double clothesline. But Wheeler still with enough to get back to his feet very quickly, very quickly. He looks like he's headed upstairs. Wheeler's headed to the top. This could be do or die for Wheeler Uter in his MWF debut. Cross body on Slick. No, wait a Slick with a weight advantage. Rolls through, hooks the tights. No, not a three count. Not a three count. Wait a minute, Slick right here. He was so angry, he's making a big mistake. Roll through by Wheeler Uter, two. Make it three. Wheeler Uter wins in his MWF debut over the former two-time MWF heavyweight champion Slick Wagner Brown. What a win. What a win. Slick Wagner Brown is stunned, and he has to be wondering who was so important that Cam Sagami was talking to him on the phone, leaving him in the middle of the match. Well, the Uprising's 2020 has gone from undefeated, well, to four and one. Not a bad percentage unless you're Slick Wagner Brown, who hasn't won anything. Not the most impressive of outings from Slick. A moment we'll remember here for some time here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Again, it's a new chapter of this organization. Forget about the new year, forget about the new decade. Now we're gonna hear from Slick, it looks like. Oh, well, come on, come on, Slick. Come on. Let's see what this epiphany is. Rise up, well, he rose down for three seconds. The fans giving it to Slick, I like it. And he's earned it. Well, come on Slick, we're running out of time, brother. He wants, well, he wants the fans to be quiet, apparently. Oh, come on, folks. There he goes, Slick Wagner Brown. I am going to be the man that leads this industry into the next decade. Seth Rollins blazes his way into Allentown. Side by side with the A.O.P. I'm not leaving without dropping Seth Rollins to the stunt. Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins in a massive main event. Plus, see the fiend Bray Wyatt. It's the WWE Live Road to WrestleMania Super Show in Allentown on Saturday, March 7th. Tickets and WWE Superstar Experience packages are available. All right, Tony, what a matchup. Uh, Slick Wagner Brown, it wasn't his night. Wheeler Yuta comes away with the victory in his debut. Very impressive. What I don't understand is, Tony, Club Cam Zagami, his manager, just walked out in the middle of the match to take a phone call. Wow. Is that even happening in professional wrestling now that cell phones are it, interrupting wrestling matches? Cell phone is everywhere now, yeah. Probably will be a lot more in the future. Well, I tell you this, uprising 4-1, and one, not a bad winning percentage, but... Slick Wagner Brown was not happy about it. He caused quite a ruckus after that matchup. I wish I was a fly on the wall in the locker room right now to see what Slick had to say to Cam Zagami. That remains to be seen. Again, fans, tickets for all three of our big spring endeavors are on sale now. Project X Loose Cannons, March the 28th in Somerville. WrestleCon in Tampa on April 3rd and April 4th. And then the big one, back to the 80s WrestleFest on Saturday, April the 11th. From my partner in crime, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, I'm Dan Marotti. We'll see you next Tuesday on Wrestling Insiders with Tony. Good night.